CockroachDB's CDC allows you to integrate with other tools with very little effort. If you're performing batch or generally large updates to a table, you might not want all of those updates triggering CDC. Let's say your table has millions or billions of rows. In today's demo, I'll show you how you can harness the new disable change feed replication setting to prevent these large updates becoming a CDC flood. I'll spin up a Kafka node. This will be the sync for my CDC. I'll spin up a demo cluster. I'll create a table and I'll insert 100,000 items into it. I'll create a simple change feed using CDC queries and they'll be published to Kafka and I'll consume from that topic so we can see any messages that get published by CDC. For example, if I make an insert into that table, we'll get a message. If I make an update, we'll get a message. And if I delete an order, we'll get a message. Let's see what the table looks like and then we'll perform a large update. The total column is rounded to five decimal places. Let's make an update to that table now to round all of the totals to four decimal places. Pay attention to what's about to happen over here. If we view the table again, all of those totals are now rounded to four decimal places. If we know we're going to perform a large change like this and we don't want it to flood CDC, we can switch on the disable change feed replication setting such that any changes within this session don't result in a CDC notification. I'll round all total values now to three decimal places, but notice this time that none of those changes resulted in a wave of CDC notifications. The change has been made. All the totals are now rounded to three decimal places and I can re-enable the disable change feed replication setting to capture any future updates to that table. Let's update one of those orders and we can see that the change has been captured by CDC again. You might not need this setting. It might be that you want all of the changes that you make to your database tables to be published via CDC. However, if you're making huge changes, this might be a flag worth considering to limit the amount of bandwidth you're consuming as a result of those CDC messages.